was born here, on Pandora, in a city cast in shadow known as Hollow Point. It's in a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. This is taking too long. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. That sounds familiar. What can I say? A lot of these stories start out the same way. Fiona, relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. There. That looks good. If August's offense worth his cut, he'll be selling it to some Hyperion stooge. It should be good enough to fool one of them. Not too many people have seen a Vault Key, real or otherwise. The paint may still be wet. Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There are only a couple spots to worry about, but it's best not to risk it. So have them keep their hands to themselves. That looks great, Felix. It's the best I can do in the time given. Hey, you're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark, but you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to to get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about poop trains. Okay? That first introduction is who you are. You two have to work together. You can count on me, Felix. I know. It's just nice to hear it out loud sometimes. Showtime. Fiona, when she gives you your role, you play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but it's worth the risk. So it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The Purple Skag is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. What's that for? It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. Wet paint. No touch. Emergency only. <laughs> Got it. where art and culture flourish. And that's the place. And that's the place. Alright, alright, enough of this stabbing. Piss off. <laughs> Sorry, girls gotta eat. Ouch. 
Sorry, no one's getting in here today, pretty lady. VIPs only. Private function. There's the Firestone Tavern down the road. Well, that's good, because I'm a VIP. What? Really? Yep. So if you could just get the door for uh, wait, me. Wait, one second. I don't know, miss. No offense, but you look pretty regular to me. VIPs are fancy folk. Anyway, I should have a list somewhere. Wait a second. That's you there. Your face is on that paper with that writing on it. What's that about, huh? What's them words say? And don't you lie and go taking advantage of me. That's the VIP list, and I'm on it. They probably put a picture to make it easier on you. That's a short list. I'm that important. Uh, I don't know. Out of the way, Tector. She's the VIP we've been waiting for. Dang, Sasha, why didn't you tell me she was with you? So sorry, ma'am. Huh, can't believe that worked. I can't either. August is with someone else, so we got a second. He has some trust issues. He keeps asking about you, so I'm just gonna tell you everything I told him. It's a lot. Great. So, here's the setup. You're Lydia Strauss. We're old friends. You're an archaeologist that stole the vault key from a dig site on Eden 6. But you're originally from Eden 5. You contacted me, and we met at Pyropedes just after Mercenaries Day to talk about the deal. Then I set you up with August, you provide the key, August and I go make the deal, then we split the money three ways. The rest of it, you're just gonna have to improvise. Did you get all that? I told you. It's a lot, I know. But he just kept asking questions. Yes, yeah, Sasha, I got it. This isn't my first rodeo. Good. Good. That's a relief. <laughs> Tommy, come on. How far do we go back? I've known your family a real long time, Augustine. That's right. Which is why this is all gonna work out. You say hi to the missus for me, okay? Will do, August. <laughs> Buddy. Doctor! Yeah, boss? Make sure Tommy gets home. Thanks again. August? Hey, August. This is... Oh, hey. Sasha tells me you've got something really cool to show. <laughs> It's Lydia, right? Strauss? Sasha's told me a lot about you. She ensures me you can be trusted. That's me, Lydia Strauss. Sorry about the delay. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. No! No! Please! Please, please, Hawkins! Please, I'll pay! I'll pay! I'll pay! I'll pay! You are. <laughs> The little bastard had a Molly Wong shield on. Shocked me real good. Sorry about the mess, boss. Won't happen again. Well, that was exciting. On bring us over a couple drinks, then start mopping up that blood. I don't want to have to get the floors redone. Sure thing, babe. Let's get to business. Give out on his tab? Yeah, something like that. Your business deals always go like that? He said he'd do something, then he didn't. 
I don't abide dishonest people. Have a seat. So, how long have you been an archaeologist? Fascinating work. Getting out there in the dirt, uncovering priceless artifacts. I've been doing it a couple of years. Must be tough. Being away from friends. It's like Sasha. It can be tough, but it's rewarding work. Well, if all this goes as planned, you'll see just how rewarding it can be. That's interesting. Hey, where'd you say you found this again? Refresh my memory. Sasha mentioned it was one of the Edens. I found it on Eden 6, at a dig site there. Right, Eden 6. Marcus is always talking about that place, says it's really nice. It's nice when you find a vault key there. <laughs> it most certainly is. Thanks, hon. All right. Let's have a look. Of course. anything this expensive before. Well, I'm sold. I'll call Vasquez and get this going. Uh, Vasquez, it's August. Are you buying this vault key or what? Because I... Hey, wait, do you have me on speaker? Seriously? No, look, I don't even know what obstinate means, man. What I know is I gotta move this thing right now. I know what obstinate means. These Hyperion guys get uncomfortable around people that sound too competent. Expect the nervous small-time Pandoran fuck, so I give them what they want. No, man, this thing is hot. I, I got office, so if you want it... You gotta get down here. Nah, we'll, we'll be there soon. That ain't good enough, buddy boy. I ain't that guy. Can we get more money out of them? It is a vault key. I tried already. Ten million is the most they could bring in cash. Not one for a paper trail. Can't blame a girl for trying. Look, let me make it crystal clear. I want ten million dollars. That's right. We'll be waiting for you. Yeah? You say hi to your... He hung up. All right. Sasha will hold the key, since it's clear you don't trust me alone with it. And seeing as I just had a guy killed in front of you, I'm not even offended. Bring your gun, babe. Got it. So that's it? She'll let you know when it's done, where to get your money. Let's go. We'll follow in the caravan. We're in position. Let us know when they arrive. Hey, August, you, you got a little something on your face. <sighs> Come here, let me get that for you. I can't believe you let him touch the key. No touch. That's what you said. It worked out in the end. This time. Luckily. The look on your face when he smeared it on his cheek. That's not funny. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. All right. The place itself. We're on. What happened? You get stuck in traffic? Yeah. Well, sorry we're late. Getting here was a little more complicated than we thought it'd be. Yeah, well... That's Pandora for you. If it ain't a freaking bug stampede, some jerk-off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well, <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. He's, uh, 
Is Vasquez coming? There are two guys here, but neither of them are Vasquez. He may have sent some lackeys. Didn't want to get his hands dirty. Oh, damn it. One of them has an echo eye implant. If he scans the key, he'll know it's a fake. They're still talking, but there's no way they're not gonna scan it. Unless they're complete morons. Felix, we need to disable it. Yes, okay, yes. Good thinking. There's a small EMP device in the chest over there. Grab it for me while I assemble a detonator. Uh, what? Ah, oh, come on. How do you find anything in here? It's about palm-sized and has a small circuit board sticking out of it. Is this it? Yes, that's the one. Here. This will generate a low-level electromagnetic pulse. That should be enough to scramble his system. But you need it close to the key. Sasha, on my signal, you need to get the case over to the vent behind you. How the hell do I do that? I don't know. Figure it out. There's a ventilation shaft in the back that'll give you access. Once you're in, I'll talk you through. Stay in the shadows. The walls are paper thin. Don't be seen. Don't be heard. Go! Hurry! I can see him. We don't have long. How do I get inside? There should be an antidote that leads to the room they're in. Find it. That's where you'll take your position. Also, this really isn't a door, but... <laughs> Shush! How did you get in here? After those Hyperians were kind enough to express interest in my collection. Whoa, what was that? I didn't hear anything. Keep it down. I came back to my special place. I'm Shade. Pleasure to meet you. I know it's hard to trust, but I'm a people person. Uh, I'm Fiona. Oh, delighted. Sometimes, you want to talk to someone not decomposing. <laughs> know what I mean? Sure. Just get out of there. I need to get through. I gotta go. We were having such a nice chat. You ever see anything so pretty in your miserable lives? Fiona, are you in place yet? Almost there. So where are we going? Shh. Go away. <gasps> You're looking for that girl, right? With the hair. I know the best spot to peek without getting caught. Let me come with you. 
It's been a long time since I had any friends. <laughs> Back in Oasis, I... Fine. Just stay quiet and make yourself useful. You, you won't regret this. Shut up. Sasha, what the hell are you... I just... I just don't like... They've had this dumb attitude on their dumb faces since the moment they walked in. What are you talking about? I mean, look at that guy. Look at his... Hey, I'm here. What's wrong with his Good. face? Sasha is waiting near the end of the vet. Get the like EMP that. onto the case. He's hiding something, August! Listen, whatever you think Alright, it's ready. So you're saying this key will get used to screw over some wretched Hyperion stooge? That's exactly what we're saying. Alright, I'm sold. Good work, Fiona. Aren't we gonna join your friends? No, we're gonna sit here and play the quiet game. Sasha, if you see him try to scan the key, give us a signal. Fiona, when you hear the signal, activate the EMP. Got it. Now, I made up my mind. August, wait! Reese, this is your department! Do something! August. What? Come on, man! Please! Dude, ten million dollars. You make a good point. <sighs> okay, Fiona, he's about to scan it. Fiona, he's about to scan it. Fiona, activate it. Fiona, what are you waiting for? Fiona, what are you doing? It's a fake. What? <laughs> Get the money and let's go home, Vaughn.
bandaged. Okay now, easy. Easy! Sasha, I'm fine. Thanks, but I'm fine. Let's just not have any more surprises today. Oh, come on! Are you really trying to steal our caravan? Now, 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 hold on. It's it's not what it looks. Okay, it is. But I am really sorry, okay? Oh, give us one good reason we shouldn't shoot you and drag your bodies out that... There's one reason. Hey! We're not done here! Fiona, the door. Out of my way. I don't like it when people lie to me, Sasha. You should never, ever lie to me, Sasha. Shot right between the eyes. That's exactly what would have happened if I hadn't gotten that door closed. But luckily, I got my second win. I don't like it when people lie to me, Sasha. You should never, ever lie to me, Sasha. Just drive. Where? Uh, away from here. <laughs> I think we lost them. So, what do we do with them? Yeah, Fiona. What did you do with them, huh? I mean, other than try to con us out of our money. You weren't even supposed to be there. Well, that didn't stop you, did it? At least the money was real. Right, all right, I get it. You didn't trust each other. As it turned out, we had good reason not to. I'll give Sasha this much. From the start, she knew not to trust them. Well, I just thought she was being paranoid. Enough. What happened next? Yeah, yeah. Tell the nice man what you did to us next. You know, in our time of need. Tell him what you did then. We calmly discussed the terms of a temporary alliance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are a delight. But on to business. I propose that we form an alliance for the return of the funds. Hmm, capital. Oh, <laughs> really? Is that what you're going with? Because I remember it a little differently. We should just shoot them first. Save the bullet. The fall will definitely kill them. Wait! You don't want to do this! He's just stalling. This is a waste of time. We can find the money! What? The case has a tracker. I can follow it. Let him back in, Sasha. Even if you get that case of money back, you won't be able to open it. It has a top-of-the-line biometric lock. It's impossible to open without me and my passcodes. Get the case into my hands and I can open it. Hey, you say so. But getting the case is the hard part. All right, Hyperion. Prove it. Find the money. Yeah, no problem. Uh, oh, call the vet. Yeah, Vaughn. I know. You want to call more Hyperion after? Calm down, Sasha. Let's see what they can do. Thank you. And then kill them if they betray us. Please? What the hell is going on down there? You were supposed to do the deal, then come right back. People are looking for you now. The deal fell apart. We really need your help, event. I'll do what I can. But it's not gonna be easy. Vasquez was already pissed enough about the car. That was before he got the call from this August guy. You two have been blacklisted up here, and it's only going to get worse the more Vasquez keeps yelling. <laughs> Unbelievable! Can't you do anything? Not without implicating all three of us. I already had security asking me everything I know. Can't you just get on the network and track the money? You lost the money, too? It's like I said, Reese. My login ID is being monitored up here. Look, I'm doing my best up here to keep any extra heat off you, but you have to find somebody else. There's only so much I can do. I shouldn't be talking to you this long. They'll trace the signal. All right, and hey, be careful up there, Yvette. I will. Please try not to get yourselves killed. How are we supposed to get an ID from another employee? We're not allowed to talk to other employees. So, you've got nothing. Out you go. Hang on, hang on! Can't you, I don't know, install someone else's credentials? We're the only two Hyperion guys left on the planet. Ah, I still have Nakayama's ID drive. Creepy Black Ops projects like that have to be higher security clearance than us. Look, just give up the act, Hyperion. You're just trying to stall us and we're not buying it. What? 
no. With this, I'm going to be able to take us straight to the money. <coughs> you might want to hang on to something. Wait until you get a load of this. Vaughn got the tracker working. <clears throat> Vaughn? Where'd everybody go? Nice to meet you, Miss Moxie. Not too shabby, in that crazy Pandora kind of way. Cast iron steel. Impressive. For con artists.
What happened? We were still waiting to get a load of that. You know, when you said get a load of this, we assumed you were talking about the drool that pulled around your face when you were unconscious. I tracked the money while you were... out. Quiet. This place is crawling with bandits. You okay, Reese? It totally whacked your head right after you plugged in. It made this gross sound. Yeah, yeah I'm fine now. What happened back there? No idea. Just blacked out. All your cybernetics still seem to be working, as far as I can tell. So, the case is in there, somewhere. Wow, what is that place? Looks like some kind of abandoned Atlas warehouse. Doesn't look abandoned to me. Looks more like every bandit on this side of the planet has shown up. How about it, Mr. Roboto? Do you see any way to get inside? Reese, if that's Atlas Tech, you should be able to scan it. That vault hunter. Oh, perfect. As soon as a vault hunter finds a case with millions of dollars in it, it's as good as gone. You know how they are. Worse than bandits. Can't we just go in the same way the vault hunter did? We're not vault hunters, Sasha. Settle down. I got this. Okay. Something wrong? No, it's fine. Ooh, that hatch goes down underneath the building, but it's guarded. Okay, so you found a way in. Now remember to get in and out of there quickly. We've already taken too many risks today. You're not coming along? Somebody needs to stay and protect the getaway car. I'll be waiting for your signal. And feel me, Sasha. Be prepared. Don't trust anyone. We've got a way in, but how are we going to get down there? Have you forgotten about the bandit parade going by? <laughs> That's the easy part. First, we find a crappy hiding spot. Then, we make ourselves a new friend. Fiona and Sasha find cover in order to sneak closer. While Actually, take our new pal for a stroll. Then we borrow a gun from one of the guards, making sure that his buddy doesn't feel left out. Then we take the secret entrance, which leads us to the briefcase. May we take a moment to celebrate our swift and easy victory. And we are good to go. Everyone got that? Guys? Damn it. We found another way down. After you. My way would have worked.
I got this. Okay, just give me a second. Fiona! Fiona! Open up, please! It's pitch black in here. Hey, Vaughn! Open up, buddy. Hello? You were hoping this would happen. You wanted to separate us so you could pick us off! Hyperions! I can't believe I trusted someone from Hyperion. We should never have let you come with us. Keep moving. If you're not running the show. If you got a better idea, then... Fine. What would you like to do? We should keep moving. Walk in front of me. Vaughn, do you copy? Come in, Vaughn. Damn it. Money's on the move, but it's close. We have to hurry. take out a couple of guards? Uh, guns make noise. Noise attracts more guards. If we do it quiet, then we won't have all the bang-bang sounds that... All right, all right, all right, got it. <sighs> Crap. We have to get to that lift. Yep, easy. I'll take the one on the left, you get the one on the right. Oh, do you think you can handle that? I know you Hyperion guys don't like getting your hands dirty. I got this. Do you even know what you're doing? I'm figuring it out. It's what I do. It's kind of my thing. Come on. Then do it. <sighs> hey, I thought you said I'm joking. Relax. That's not funny. Just a little bend around here. Get this to line up. 
up with... Oh, come on, really? I thought we were past this? Past this? Do you even know what Hyperion means to us on Pandora? The havoc they caused here? The pain? It doesn't matter what you do up there. You contributed. It's crazy up there, too. Things actually aren't so great at Hyperion right now. Yeah? Feeling the weight of your corporate overlords, Arya? Good. Um, what the hell was that? It's one of the power systems starting up. How is it up there, anyway? Where? Up on that base you're all in. What's it called? Helios. Right. Helios. I mean, what's it like being an emotionless cog spinning away, day after day, for the most bloodthirsty, brutal, soul-crushing, love-defying corporation in the whole wide universe? Is it fun? Is it something you like? I'm just curious. <laughs> Look... It's not that easy, okay? Everyone's more than happy to climb the corporate ladder, even if it means using your face for a rung. Ugh. Sounds awful. Eh, it mostly is. I, uh... I have to concentrate. Can I help you? Your stun baton. It's the JR-4000. Can I... can I see it? Hold it, I guess I should say. What if I say please? Would that make it easier for you? Because I'm not saying please. Yeah, even though I've technically said it twice now. Do you promise to give it back? Yes. Pinky promise? Yes. Don't hurt yourself. work for the worst corporation in the universe. They do make some cool stuff. I feel like that's the case with most corporations. Thanks. Oh, look at us. We're like best friends now. <laughs> Not quite. And we are in. Password override. System online. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm impressed. I suppose you're not completely useless after all. I really appreciate that. Yeah, get the lift moving. I got in, but it didn't give me the right clearances, so I'm gonna need a second. Well, hurry up. What the hell? Damn it, not now.
We got Glasses Face and Hadley. You guys really know how to accessorize. What are you two doing here? Oh, hey! Um... What are you doing here is more like it. Okay, uh... You're not really supposed to answer a question with a question. I already know what I'm doing here. Really? And what would that be? Wow, okay. That's aggressive. Sort of caught me off guard. Uh, oh, don't be shy. I... I prepped the cars for the drivers. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Prepping cars, huh? Sounds pretty interesting. So, you guys drivers or what? Sorry, I realize this is rude, but I really don't like your face. No, I get that a lot. Not one bit. You just always look like you stepped in something. If you're supposed to be prepping the cars, why aren't you doing it? I guess because I'm talking to you. That's probably why, if you must know. I think you're slacking. Whoa, okay, what are you, a secret shopper? You see I'm armed, right? This is a gun. That's a weird way to talk to someone you don't know. Not even factoring in firearms. Let's start over. If you're not official drivers, well, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to shoot you in the face. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. It's just a misunderstanding. We're drivers. Really? Huh. You don't look like any drivers I've ever seen. Then I guess you ain't seen enough. Well, that's very presumptuous. This ain't exactly my first race. Then quit acting like it and get our ride. Ah, uh, well, more meat for the grinder. I guess I'll go get your ride. Oh. Hey, I got something that might interest you. If you're racing, you should look the part. I'm not gonna give them away for free, but uh, you want to look like a team. Pick these up after the last race. The floor was littered with them. Clean most of the blood off. I suppose there's a chance I'll be collecting these again later. You've got good taste. Okay, if anyone asks, you didn't get these from me. Now get going. The ride is waiting. Tabulating columns of beautiful numbers. My mask smells weird. Does your mask smell weird? Yeah. Look, the important thing is that we're inside and away from that... ...bandits. At least they seem preoccupied. This is bad. This is bad. What have we gotten ourselves into here? Psychos? Motor chariot thingies? Sponsors? Some sort of race thing? Obviously. Yeah, death race. Eh, looks more like a main race to me. Race will begin! Uh, what an ass. Race will begin! Are you kidding me with this? Relax. Guns, guns, more guns! Fiona, what do we do? I'm getting so sick of having guns pointed at me. We need to find Sasha. And Reese. I hope they're gonna be okay. But I hope that about us even more. I'm sure they're fine, but we need to get to them. I just don't have a plan for how we do that yet. Yeah, that's what's upsetting me. And owing to today's earlier happenings, the quack prize for tonight's race is a one-of-a-kind Hyperion Mystery Box! No one's been able to open it, but you know you so, I guess we win the race and they just give us the money. You make it sound simple. It is simple ish.
calm down. It's in the bag. If we win this race, we get the case. If? The deal of a lifetime is really only worth it if your remaining lifetime is more than 24 hours. In my line of work, I have to be good at reading people, seeing their true character. And you, Vaughn, you can do this. I know you can. You really think so? Yeah. See? Now you're having a good time. You just gotta let loose. Rev the engines on your life, Vaughn. Wait, what do you mean? It doesn't matter. Just, you know, enjoy the moment. I could get used to this. Yep. Just don't hurt yourself. Hello! Hello! How does a jackass like this become a leader of anything? Whoa, whoa! I think this guy wants to eat my eyeballs. You're just being- Tasty eyeballs! Good for fricassee! Okay then. Just don't lean in My case. stone buggy! No, 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 you've got this all wrong. We didn't do anything. If you let him kill me, you'll never get the money. Oh, yeah, sure I will. Felix can bypass any lock. He'll have your case open faster than this guy can eat your lips. But he can't defuse the bomb sink to my biosignature. Bomb? There's a bomb in the case? Let me go! Stop it! Oh. But he's right in the death train! What the hell is this? Sounds like we're starting early. Dying high on a psycho cycle! You Pandorans are all crazy. You do know that, right? Drivers drive! Drivers drive! Let's kick the tires and light some fires. Let's try not to die. Okay, I'll admit, that looks pretty dangerous. Life come. Life go. No, 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 no. This is fine! We're okay! And now, Maniacs, Degenerates, and Scumdogs! It's time for what you've been waiting for! Well, 
I'll just have to blame the whole thing on your buddy, Ma. Okay. I mean, it is his ID associated with the account transfer. Then why would I do that? Because one phone call from me and you're in the clear. Hey, look, I admit it, you screwed me. You really did. Cool moves, Reed. Cool moves. Hyperion will want my dick in a sling. So, get your cybernetic rear up here with the money and I'll split it with you 50 50. You scratch my nuts, I scratch yours. That kind of thing. Savon takes the ball, and the two of us. Scratch your own nuts. Really? Oh, I'll scratch him. I'll scratch him hard. You messed up, Reed. You could have been back home living the good life. Passing that up for the sake of your little friend. You have fun dying on that poop shoot of a planet where you go wrong. No more phone calls, okay? We have to... Come on!
Fiona. Felix, what's wrong? I... Uh, Fiona. at him right then. I thought I understood him. Maybe for the first time in my whole life. Didn't stop me from being pissed off. I hope one day you'll understand. Perhaps you'll even find it in your heart to forgive me. Felix? Felix! only way to make you understand. Felix, don't do this. We're like family. We are family, Fiona. That will never change. Be sure to take care of your sister. Keep her out of trouble. Goodbye, Felix. Felix! Tell Hyperion they can track their fancy case all they want, but I'm taking the money. Felix! It's booby trapped! Officially the worst day ever. inside your body. Bossa Nova's dead. I don't think he was lying. Gordas is not here. Don't sweat it, babe. That's one less bandit lord we have to worry about. There's plenty of time for sweating later, once you come back to me for your reward. My quest is not done. My reward for you is gonna be long, hard, and powerful. Gordis remains out of reach. It's a rocket launcher. Yes. Innuendo. Sasha, about what happened with Felix- Stop! Okay? I don't want to talk about it right now. 
Their friend Felix tried to take the money for himself. The case exploded, but he got away. So we have no money, no vault key, nothing. It's over. I mean, what, what do we even do now? Check the bodies. Take anything valuable. It's not like there's gonna be ten million dollars worth You have any better ideas? You came to Pandora, now you get to live like we do. Wait for more powerful people to kill each other and then take their stuff. Junk can't be worth that much. That pistol over there is worth at least a hundred bucks. Oh, good. We just need a hundred thousand more of those and we're all set. There's a safe way down. What's down there? Uh, there's a bunch of old Atlas prototype stuff, some tech, looks like a few weapons and Where? Too dangerous, huh? No way. <laughs> the Atlas Silver! Ah, one of the rarest SMGs on Pandora. These models were never even released. Neat. Retro Atlassio! I thought these things were just a rumor! Look, 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 look! It tells time, and it's a calculator. Just give me a math problem. Just give me Is a math problem. Is it worth a lot of money? Sort of. I mean, yeah, you know, it's not ten million dollars worth, but... Oh, man, to the right people. Atlas tech in mint condition like this is worth a hell of a lot to collectors. Some Hyperion execs buy it just to put it on their trophy shelves and gloat. And unreleased prototypes at that. I mean, who knows what this is worth? All right, Sasha. Let's grab what we can and get out of here. Quickly. Don't tell anyone those bandits will be back. We better do the same, Reese. Would you like to do the honors? It's the last one. It's only right for us both to reveal it. I mean, that's the best part. Yeah, I was kind of hoping you'd say that. All right. Big money. What 
is it? No idea. Well, we got what we came for. Let's go. Hey, Vaughn, can you see if there's a crowbar lying around? We're gonna have to try to pry these apart before we Which was never real. Right. Then you lost the money. Well, technically, we found it. <laughs> but then it blew up. Sure. But at the end of all that, you discover the Gordis Project, which is all about opening a vault. Right. That's very convenient. Uh, not really. I mean, one way or another, everything on Pandora is leading you to a vault. I'd actually uh, agree with her on that. A rarity. I'm sure. So, what happened next? Uh, well, 